We launched Carbon last year. Um, you know, Carbon, we set out, the aim with Carbon was really to help publishers monetize their inventory across any platform or any device. We wanted to help them to, to do that. We wanted to give them one workflow across all these screens and devices. And three, we wanted to help them eventually sell one audience across all these uh, various screens. And I think that's been quite successful for us as a company. It's been successful. We've uh, you know, doubled our customer signings during that period. Uh, but even more importantly, our customers are now seeing uh, roughly thir one third of their traffic is actually on non-PC platforms. And this is far, you know, it's, it's developed far faster than we thought and far faster than what our customers thought. So, so quite happy about that. Um, now, kind of one year later, um, you know, we've really looked at kind of how, wh where the industry is going and how we can help our customers now not only just monetize their content across all these screens, but also how to make the most out of that audience. And we're today, you know, proudly announcing uh, the launch of Carbon 2, um, which will be uh, available for all of our customers. Um, starting today, uh, which is really about enabling our, our customers uh, to work with the various islands of data that they have access to, right? So uh, the various islands can be, you know, one is obviously the first party data. Most of our customers, you know, big broadcasters or big, big premium publishers do have access to a lot of data. They sometimes have identified it and, and are doing something with it, sometimes they haven't. Um, so it's about taking that data and then increasingly working with, with the various third-party uh, data platforms out there that have different kinds of information about people out there. And, and, what, you know, and all of those islands of data actually come, come to life in Carbon2 and effectively become useful, right? So you can actually there combine these different islands of data and create customer pack audience packages that you can then uh, present and sell uh, towards the uh, your your customers. What we're talking about today mainly, and, and about the audience audience sell, uh, I would say is mainly about our, our you know our largest, more most premium customers. Very clearly, their customers are demanding this, right? And 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 clearly, they 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 told us this. This is this is no news for them. Um, so you know, in order and and I think I think what we're seeing is really the buy side are increasingly. Uh, you know, gearing up with technology and better understanding of the audiences out there. Well, and, and sometimes you might find even the buyer knows more about the audience of the publisher than the publisher does themselves. And clearly this is, a, this is an imbalance that is not really healthy, especially for the publisher. So what we're trying to do and what the publisher wants to achieve effectively is, is clearly to have the upper hand here with all this information available and to make that useful and, you know, and, and build a, a relevant proposition for their customers, right? In order to be able, and, and that will help them, you know, increase CPMs obviously and help them, help them uh, have a more competitive pitch, win more RFPs, et cetera, et cetera. Speaking to our customers, speaking to brands, speaking to the agencies, uh, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're predicting that roughly 30% uh, of all ad sp video ad spend by 2015, which is in two years' time, will be audience-based. And this is roughly $2.5 billion uh, that will spend, be spent globally uh, audience-based. Video is very much today sold on context and on, on content, right? It's very important. It's, it's, a, it's usually a branding, um, you know, in, intention that the buyer has and you very much uh, follow on the, on the uplift on the brand metrics and brand performance. Um, with the evolution we've seen in the display world and with the increased availability of data, buyers are increasingly getting used to, you know, combining context and, and, and content and, and brand metrics with also kind of uh, more understanding what audience they're actually buying. Um, so, so much more about the people you're actually addressing rather than what they're watching, right? Um, so that is really the trend we're seeing and that is now also coming to video uh, as kind of brands and advertisers are really demanding uh, this kind of uh, products from their, from their customers. So there's one more thing to Carbon2 which, which is worth mentioning which is uh, we, we're relaunching our uh, reporting and analytics uh, tool within the platform uh, and we believe it's the most powerful analytics platform in the market right now where you can basically take 
all of your, your data, which is your actual performance data in terms of the ads that's been delivered through the platform. You can cross and, and uh, slice and dice that data exactly in, in whatever way you like. And this is to do two things mainly. One is to you know, help you solve any operational need. You always need to pull some kind of report to solve your, uh, your operations. Uh, second is to help you just learn and improve and take actionable insights to, to understand you know why? Why is this? Uh, you know this kind of ad load working on this device versus another device. Understanding how different content genre or advertising genre works and perform better in, in various parts of your site. The business is doing really well. Um, we are uh, we're doing you know continuing to grow very much in Europe. Um, continue to grow in France. We just announced a couple of new wins over there with High Media and. BFM TV, the main news channel over there. Um, we're also growing quite a lot over in Southeast Asia. We've got um, clients across five markets there, and there's a there's a number of big deals coming in, hopefully announced in, in the next quarter. Um, so yeah, overall, super excited about you know now adding on top of our multi-platform capabilities, adding these data capabilities, which is really at the heart of the publisher's uh, strategy and, and, and big kind of topics for, for 2013, I think.